A big problem in Chicago, towing without telling. Tow truck drivers hook up your car and some never see them again. Huge problem. And now there's a class action lawsuit. Our CBS2 investigator Dave Savini broke the news today. I'm here at City Hall, the city that's being accused of towing people's cars and not telling them in the proper way before taking those cars and either selling them at auction or destroying them and selling them for scrap. They cannot justify what they did. My mom needed that vehicle. Her mom, Andrea Santiago, has multiple sclerosis and relied on this van, equipped with an expensive hydraulic wheelchair lift inside to get around. But the city claimed it was abandoned, had it towed to a city auto pound and sold for scrap. It's just very infuriating for the city to do that with just no regards for who that vehicle might belong to is sickening. They are now part of a federal lawsuit against the city for not only destroying the van, but for failing to provide them and thousands of others the proper notification by mail that their vehicles were about to be sold or scrapped. Towing without telling, that is the city is literally taking people's cars without giving them any notification by mail. The CBS2 investigators exposed how the van was taken through the city's abandoned vehicle program back in 2018. Everything was crushed is the only answer I got. Everything was crushed. We revealed how loosely regulated the program is. There's no police involvement because it's run by the Streets and Sanitation Department, which couldn't provide a single photo proving the van was deserted and not moved for seven days. Well, I've talked about your abandoned vehicle policy. Abandonedness. We found these photos on Google Earth of the van, which Santiago says was in working order and always legally parked. The city, in some depositions we've taken, has admitted that they don't use any other criteria other than seven days. Seven days, it's gone. So if you're on vacation, they could take it with, from you without giving you any notice in advance. J.C. Zolna Santiago's attorney says he initially tried to settle with the city to simply pay for a replacement van, about 25 grand. The city refused and now could be on the hook for millions of dollars because a federal judge approved class action status. That most likely will be tens of thousands of vehicles. If the city loses, it will have to reimburse potentially tens of thousands of people who had their cars towed and sold at auction. What did that van mean to your mom? It was her lifeline. It's like her legs. And that van was your freedom? Yeah, no. my freedom. Now the city law department argues they did everything by the book and gave everyone ample notice. And as the court case goes forward, the city now has to turn over all of the records involving everyone who owned any of the cars involved here. At City Hall, Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators. Savini out in front of it again.